I think I have found the perfect Windows search replacement. Some people like Windows search, but most people don't like Windows search. And I'm one of those people who don't actually use Windows search. I use alternatives. And there are many alternatives out there like Flow Launcher, Power Toys Run, and many other. And I've tested almost all of them. Some of them are overloaded with the features and some are just not that powerful. But this one, this one is different. This is perfectly balanced or perfectly made Windows search replacement. This is called Windows Command Palette. This is a new thing actually. And guess what? This is actually made by Microsoft. So they are also working on something that can replace Windows search. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually a utility or module available in Microsoft Power Toys. I think most people already know what Microsoft Power Toys is. So if you're hearing about this tool for the first time, you should go to this website and learn more about it, okay? So in this video, I'm just gonna talk about the Power Toys command palette utility. This is a new thing and I have been using this for a week now and I'm just loving this thing. This is just perfectly balanced, not overloaded with the too many features. It looks good and this is actually really powerful. So you have to download the Microsoft Power Toys and then you have to enable this feature. So let me actually show you guys here, okay? So this is the Microsoft Power Toys. Under system tools, you'll see a new module or utility called Command Palette. You just have to enable it, which I have enabled and I've also uh, customize the keyboard shortcut for this. You can't customize the keyboard shortcut from here. You actually have separate uh, application that runs in background. Uh, let me actually show you guys here, uh, which looks like this Windows command palette. It, it, it's like a lightning logo or something. You can double click on it to launch or you can press the shortcut keys that you have set. Okay, for me, it's alt space. Before this, I was actually using the Power Toys Run, which was just okay. But as soon as this command palette came out, I just disabled it and started using it. And this thing is just wonderful. You can go into the settings. From here, you can actually change the activation key or keyboard shortcut to launch the command palette. It looks native to Windows, obviously, because it's made by the Microsoft, okay? And this time they have done a wonderful job with this application. There is nothing better than this for now. If you want a app launcher or whatever you want to call it, search, anything, okay? There are many things you can do, okay? You can search for all apps. You can run command. Like if you want to search for files, you can simply type file and then you can search for files. You can also install applications using this, okay? So like, for example, I can search for VLC. So here you can see, this is like simple GUI to install applications from Winget. There are so many things to talk about actually, <laughs> okay? Uh, uh, I'm just gonna talk about the most important things. And I know you guys are smart, so you'll figure out how this thing actually works. And this has something called extensions, okay? So you can also download extensions so for now this is a new thing so there are not that many extensions available since this command palette thingy is free and open source so anyone can modify and make extensions for it so for now for example there is this uh, extension called obsidian notes so this is basically a extension for obsidian once you install this extension you can search for your notes you can edit them you can view them and all that so basically if you use the obsidian notes yeah like you don't have to open the Obsidian nodes to manage your nodes and all that. You can just simply use this. By default, it just works. Let's say for example, I'm looking for wind toys or anything, okay? All the applications that are available on your system. You can also calculate, you can also search for files. This thing is actually super fast. Uh, let me search. Oh, wait, I have the Windows indexing disabled. So let me actually show you guys, because as you guys know, Windows indexing kind of sucks. I'm going to go into the performance. You can see I have the search indexing disabled, so I'm going to enable it. OK, I can go into the settings and I can choose classic or enhance. OK, now uh, I can do file here 
just like that when i do that i can hit enter now here i can search for files on my system so let's say for example i'm going to type web so it's going to pull out all the things that are related to web it's super fast actually compared to the default windows search even though it's using the windows indexing thingy you got the idea okay i'm gonna search for png okay so anything that is png will pop up here okay you can see here but i want something better than windows search indexing thingy even though it works really well it's fast super fast but i want something like uh, everything extension for it and I'm pretty sure soon someone will make a everything extension for this so if you're a dev you want to make extension you also have that option within this okay you can click on create a new extension and then yeah okay you can import your extension here or create a extension so you get the idea okay so I'm not a dev so someone please make a everything extension I think someone will make everything extension because I don't want to use the Windows indexing but if you use Windows indexing this thing is still actually really fast there is this thing called add bookmark this is also really useful here you can add URL or folder path and you can launch them using this and you can also make a universal shortcut so you can launch that website or folder from anywhere so let me actually give you guys a demo this thing is cool let's say for example i use downloads folder a lot so i'm gonna copy the path of this thing and i'm gonna go back and uh, give it a name let's say download you can say whatever you want we don't need the quotations okay so we're gonna remove that and i can click on save now i search for download that is the download but you can make this thing even more interesting uh, it's like here like you can quickly launch this by searching for it okay and it, it will get listed here basically you're bookmarking uh the folder or website so in my case the folder for example so it's here it's bookmarked but if you go into the settings and go to the extensions and then go to the bookmarks here bookmarks and you can see there is one command basically you're creating a command okay don't get confused okay you just just, just let's just say it's a, uh, a bookmark that you created so this is one bookmark here when we expand the option for this i can have a alias like different name for this like for example dld so we can just put this in search box and we can easily find that bookmark okay and we can also create a activation shortcut key so we have to use one of these so let's say windows control and alt and d so we're gonna save it now if i launch the man palette here i can simply do dld so here is the dld okay so it looks like there is another thing called dld <laughs> but uh, I think I should do the capital DLD yeah like that I can search for my bookmark like that or I can press Windows Control Alt and D to launch that bookmark from anywhere from any program let's say for example just for this demo I have this thing opened now I want to access my downloads folder okay I can do Windows Control Alt and D and look at that this is our download folder we can launch this from anywhere using the global shortcut key that we created using the bookmark thingy in command palette this is just wonderful and you can add any url or any folder location to it you got the idea i know you guys are very smart so this is one of the coolest thing you can do with this and uh, for the search it just works okay it is super fast it looks good and yeah for the file search it depends if you use windows indexing good okay it's super fast but if you don't use windows indexing you want something like everything or something that thing is not available for now but i'm pretty sure again as i said someone will make a extension for everything you can also do the web searches okay we have these uh shortcuts like uh, the double question mark so if we type that here we can do a web search so whatever your 
default web browser is it's going to open that okay you can see google chrome beta is our default web browser so i'm going to search for what is mount everest just for this demo so i'm going to hit enter it's going to open the you get the idea okay so you can also do the web searches and you can also calculate you can also run command within this uh, you get the idea okay i know you guys are very smart uh, these are some of the things that you can do with this and i'm just loving this thing i mean again as i said microsoft did an amazing job with this okay so for now you can see there is this option search for extensions in the store so soon many people will create different extensions for this since this thing is like fresh brand new there aren't any extensions available in the microsoft store for now but since we have this option you know what that means there are going to be many extensions for this okay in the future so this is gonna get even more powerful again as i said in my opinion this thing is perfect like perfect windows search replacement that is actually made by microsoft and this thing is actually really really good okay so you can go into settings and change your keyboard shortcuts or some other things if you want to uh, these are the extensions that are available by default you can enable them disable them if you don't need all the extensions for example you don't need the windows registry you can disable that now let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this in my opinion again i'm just repeating myself at this point now this is just perfect windows search replacement this is actually really good that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye